What's up guys, my name is Nikno, here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So if you've been keeping up with my channel lately, I've been going through different renderers for Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects and Media Encoder, and one of them has been Daniel 2, which has H.264, HEVC and Daniel 2, their proprietary codec support. So if you're wondering how exactly did you watch a Daniel 2 video without having Premiere Pro open, it saves as an MXF container. And if you open it up with something like VLC, you'll probably end up with a page like this. Unidentified codec, VLC could not identify the audio or video codec. How exactly do you go about playing one of these MXF files? As you can see at the bottom, it says that it's playing and it's going through the full 17 minutes of this video over here. And if I open up with something like a media info to tell you exactly about the video, view HTML, you can see that there's quite a bit of information about it, such as the file size, length, bitrate, etc., etc. And you'll see at the very bottom, you'll see Synergy Daniel 2 Adobe Codec Pack. So how exactly do you go about watching this video without having to import it to Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects first? Well, it's actually pretty simple and you'll need a piece of software off of their website. So heading across to the link down in the description below or heading to daniel2.com, you'll see this page over here, which is where we downloaded the plugin from. All we need to do is hit free download. And at the very top, you'll see Synergy Player 3 for Windows. Scrolling down, these are the plugins for Windows and for Mac, but what we're interested in is the player itself. We'll go ahead and hit download. And because Synergy is quite a big company that's worked with big name brands, you can't exactly go ahead and download the piece of software straight away. You'll have to go ahead and fill in some of your actual information first to go ahead and do that. Don't worry, it's just your first name, last name, email address, which is where they send you the download link. Company, if you're not in one, I just enter none, freelance or NA. Phone number and reason for download, you can leave as no information or actually set one of these down below. So once you fill out this information, you should receive an email that looks something like this. Once you open up the email, you'll see something like this with your license key standing out to you quite obviously right in the middle of the email. Now, of course, the software is completely free. I don't think it's on a trial but they just have this key because it links it to your email address and they can see how many users are actively using it, etc, etc. Anyways, you might be confused with where to download it and where to use this key. However, at the very top of this email, you'll see your copy is ready for download. Please click this link and link is actually a hyperlink that you can click. So just click on that bit of text over there. It'll be taken to a download page and the download will start. Once it finishes, we can open it up. And we can go ahead and run the setup.exe that we were given. Run. And you'll see this page over here. I'll accept the terms and conditions. Next. And over here, we have the options of what to install. So I've already got Synergy License Manager installed. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that. But of course, if you don't have this installed because of the plugin, you'll need to make sure that it is actually installed. And of course, a Synergy Player we also have is install. Next. Next. And we'll hit yes when prompted for admin by Windows. Now all we need to do is wait for this installation to complete. And there we go. Close. Now we should have two new icons on your desktop. Of course, the license manager that we need to go ahead and open up. And you'll see something like this. Of course, we'll have to blur out the top bit of this. But we'll go add license. And you'll be copying and pasting the key that you were given in the email. So we'll paste it in there and hit I understand install license. You can hit OK and you can go and close out of it. Then you can go ahead and open up Synergy Player 3, which will give you something like this. Of course, it's a bit empty. So what we'll need to do is head across to where our video is saved inside of its MXF container. And if we try and open it up with something like VLC, you'll still see the error. So what we need to do is drag it onto the icon on our desktop so that it says open with Synergy Player 3.0. As you can see, the video is playing as is. If we click, we get the bar at the bottom to skip through the video, and it is incredibly fast because this is such an efficient codec. I'm sure the most similar thing to it would probably be ProRes or actually QuickTime. Of course, there's not many options. This is mainly just for preview of whatever you're trying to go ahead and edit. We'll close out of it. And you can go ahead and make it a default if you'd like to double click on MXF files and have them open automatically. So we'll right click, open with more apps, and if you don't see it on this list over here, we'll have to scroll to the bottom and hit look for another app on this PC. If we right click on the icon on our desktop, go to open file location, you can copy this at the very top and paste it into the open with the dialog that opened. Then we'll click on synergyplayer.exe and hit open. Once it's opened, you can close it and you'll see the file icon hasn't changed because we've actually just added it. We haven't made it a default. 
Of course, if you'd like it to be a default, instead of right click open with a Synergy, you'll have to go choose another app and make sure that always open is selected, followed by actually adding the Synergy player, hit OK, close, and you'll see that the icon changes to match the Synergy player icon. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, be here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.